these street interviews where they're asking college age women who they would vote for and why they would vote for them. What views of commos do you like? Um, I like abortion policy views. Abortion? Any other issues that are key for you? Not really. He's talking about trans in the military at this point now. Um, I, I don't know if you guys can see her t-shirt here, but it says Saturdays are for cocks. These I find fascinating. You know, these street interviews where they're asking college age women uh, who they would vote for and why they would vote for them. So in this um, reel, there's it's three minutes, 24 seconds. And it's all these women are basically saying they want to vote for Kamala because of abortion, essentially, because they think that they're going to lose rights with Trump. But just check this out. It's, it's fascinating. Honestly, just like, honestly, everything about her. I just... You just love her. She's just, she's no, just... I don't love. I don't. <laughs> I don't need to love any like president necessarily, but I support her. You're with Kamala, though. I am. All right. You plan on voting in the presidential election? Yeah, I already Who did, voted. You already voted. Who did you vote for? Kamala. Why do you like Kamala? Um, <laughs> what do, What do you like best about her plan for America? Well, reproductive rights for women, for starters. Do you know who you're voting? He's got a really bad mic setup, so yeah, he's it's asking really odd. Owen's usually it. on his stuff, usually, but yeah. this is it's pretty tough. Yeah, but I mean, basically, you know, her reason for voting for Camilla is reproductive rights for women, right? Like women want to maintain the right to have access to abortion. Voting for? No. You don't know who you're going to vote for yet. What are the issues that might change your mind? <laughs> Um, <laughs> like economy, some people talk about economy, they talk about the border, some people talk about abortion. You think abortion will be your number one issue? Who are you guys going to be voting for? Again, number like one a child. Issue. He's going to feed choosing, her the answer. Yeah, for choosing like, a political candidate is to is to still have the right to, which you could, which Trump says you can do. He's like, I don't care. Let the states figure it out. He's yeah, like, I don't want to get involved. Is. Right? You know, is my understanding. Harris, for both of you. Yes. And why do you like Harris? Oh yeah, look at this soy boy here. This, this yeah, is, total watch, IT. Watch right the there. dynamic, you know, between the two of them. It's like you know, if I'm a nice enough guy, if I'm if I'm a solid enough shoulder to cry on, maybe at some point she's going to want to be with me. Mm. You think abortion will be your number one issue? Who are you guys going to be voting for? Harris, for both of you. Yes. And why do you like Harris? I just like what she stands for. I like her as a person. She has personality. She's nice, and she believes that majority of people should have rights, which is nice. Are there rights that people are being denied that she's going to give them? I mean, it's it's treatment, it's involvement in the military, trans people. Trump took them out of the military. Um, there was. He's talking about trans in the military at this point now. Was that true? Are you going to be voting in the presidential election? Um. Yes, I am. Who are you going to be voting for? Um. Where is this going to be posted? On my channel. I host a political talk show. I'll probably be voting for Kamala. Kamala? And what do you like about Kamala? Um, I, I don't know if you guys can see her t-shirt here, but it says Saturdays are for Cox. Well, this, I'll clarify. That's a, uh, she, this is, she's probably a fan of University of South Carolina. Their mascot is the Game Cox or Cox for short. But yes, uh, we are aware of the double entendre here. Yeah. It obviously has more than one meaning. I Clearly, just feel like she's overall a lot more respectful um, of different groups within America. And I'm on a Zoom for my class right now, so I'm a little distracted. Okay. Who do you plan on voting? Look how uncomfortable they all are. See, there you go, um, South Carolina. Kamala Harris. What about you? Sure. <laughs> Not sure. Still undecided? <laughs> sure. It's like herd animal sheep. You know, so she said un- one, so I'm yeah. going to go for that too. Decided. And why do you like Still Kamala? Kamala. Um, my family is democratic, and I'm from the north, so. Okay. So you're just doing what your family has done for years? Like, kind of. But also, like, personal views. What views of commas do you like? Um, probably, like, <laughs> abortion policy views. Abortion? Any other issues that are key for you? Not really. Just abortion is the main issue? Yeah. Who are you going to be voting for? Kamala. Why do you like Kamala? Kamala. Kamala, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Get it right. Um, we like her, um... Stances and views. Like, which ones do you like the most? Uh, abortion, the stances, just on. How many, like, why is it the they very first thing out of their about. mouth is, I want to have an abortion, basically? Welfare in general. I don't think that Trump is really looking out for that as much. 
So your big issues are like welfare, abortion, yeah, welfare. social issues. Social Although issues. I do think her approach to like the economic state and stuff is better also. Do you like her economy policies better? Yeah. Do you think the economy has been better with the Biden Harris administration or the she Biden doesn't know? Five years. I think Biden even Harris. if people said it wasn't better under the Biden Harris administration, it was because of the policies Trump had set before. So it was Trump's fault. Yes. Okay. Paula. Why do you like Paula? <laughs> um, I just like her policies and her morals. Like what policies do you like? Um, I don't agree with. Wait, am I getting filmed? Yes. Can we not? <laughs> My God, yeah, it's embarrassing. Like they're all puppets, they're all parrots. Three brain cells between all of them, and it's like, you know, when you look at the comments on this, and like, there's so many guys that are all repeal the damn Nineteenth Amendment already, right? Um, repeal the Nineteenth. I would love like, for you to get Owen on the show. He'd be such a good get. I've been, I mean, I've been following that dude for years. I just came across him recently because he because he had Destiny on, and. Yeah. Uh, he, well, he debated him, right? Yeah, he just ripped him a new asshole. Like that's well, he got big. Fun. Um, he's a he was. A, I mean, I don't know if he's still. He was a big Infowars guy back in 2016. He did a yeah. lot of the street interviews, going around campuses. He got kicked off YouTube. He got kicked off all these channels. They just reinstated him back on Twitter this year after he'd been banned oh, for right? like seven years. So yeah, I mean, he's a really sharp dude. I, I mean, this thing here says it all, right? You know, you put the right. You know, you put the younglings in there on one side, they drain out the creativity and the intelligence, and you get all these NPCs that come out the other end from, from college. And that's that's just the reality of the world that we live in, man. That's just, you know, it is what it is. Um, there's no critical thinking. There's no thought beyond. I mean, both political candidates, as far as I understand, will let you have rights to safe and effective abortion if that's really that important to you. But it's like they think that choosing, choosing the one that, wasn't even nominated or elected. I don't know. It's just topsy turvy, upside down world, right? What are you going to do? <sighs> They're never going to take women's voting rights away. They're just not going to no. do it. But I understand why, why people keep saying over and over again, repeal the 19th. Sure. All right, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed that clip. If you want to check out the full length podcast episode, you can find that right over here. Also, make sure you visit my website over here where you'll find my supplements, the opportunity to book me privately one on one for coaching. And most importantly, my new school of unplugging, which you'll find on the courses tab. Newer to the channel, hit subscribe.